Friends, hello. I just want to make a quick little up-to-date video here about farming, and I'm going to be honest, there is not a lot to talk about here. So if you're going to, you know, if you're wondering like why this video is so short, this is this is why. So first things first, obviously to catch you up to speed, get you up to speed here if you're not already. Farming recently uh, did a reverse split here. It has not been pretty since then. The stock just refuses to stay above a 150, even a 120 at this point. <laughs> Although two big reasons for that too is that the market has been trashed and two, this is a Chinese company which Chinese companies are not doing hot right now because the whole NATO issue is still very, a lot of tension there, a lot of tension. So this is all still fresh going on. So what I think, and by the way, I am still holding and farming. I still have a uh, quite amount of money wrapped up in this. So honestly, my hopes and my dreams right now with farming is that Obviously that this thing can rally itself up to uh, even by the end of the year I would love to see a 182 dollar mark. Is that going to happen? I really can't say right now. Probably not to be honest because we're not getting much out of this market and like I said the NATO conflict. We still are seeing Farmy take on existing contracts and new contracts. Although we have been seeing this for over a year now and it seems to do nothing for the overall stock. It really brings no volume at this point. It's kind of just like expected. But one, you know, a few things that we are expecting here with Farmy. Farmy, and they have not talked about it as of recent. It's been over probably eight months since this has been talked about with Farmy for they have, since they have mentioned it. Farmy getting involved in cosmetics on top of what they already do um, and that was really attracting a lot of people because obviously cosmetics uh, are a huge market and bring in huge revenue I mean you're, you're talking billions and billions of dollars but farming has kind of just gone quiet on that subject so it's a lot of investors have every right to be kind of just frustrated upset and just like what the heck man like what why is this company not talk farming does not release a lot of news they don't talk a lot and this has been the mo since day one with them uh they just and when they do talk they kind of just repeat the same thing and release the same kind of information it's it's kind of a nightmare so friends i like i said i, I know i don't have a lot of positive news here uh, like i said I, my main goal for Farmy this year is that the thing just survives. It keeps a dollar, and right now it's having a hard time keeping a dollar. We came out came out of this reverse split, and right now Farmy is fighting for survival. It's fighting for God's sakes, Farmy, release some kind of good news, release some kind of plan. What they're what you're wanting to do? That's what we're asking here as investors. So, friends. I still like Farmy. I still think this is a company that could potentially do something in the near future, but I do warn you, the next few months could bring a, under a dollar here. Let's be honest here, because uh, a lot of things are taking it still massive hits, and the market is just not really getting any better. It's just not. It's not going to happen as of right now. So friends, with all that said, thank you so much for being here and I really do wish everyone the best of luck with this one and investing. And friends, I will talk to you very soon. Bye everyone.